Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be talking about Kings Island's rumored new roller coaster, possible new roller coaster. And a lot of people are pointing to a new Sound of Beast. So I'm going to give you my thoughts, opinions, and what I personally think about this new, I guess, roller coaster coming in with the hints and stuff Cedar Fair and Kings Island have been dropping. First, let's go over Son of Beast. It is by far the worst fail, fail in amusement park history. With the height of 218 feet, it is the tallest wood coaster or wood structure in the world at 218 feet. And even Still Vengeance, which that's at 105, isn't the highest in the world, tallest in the world still. Son of Beast still has that record. With the max speed of 78 miles per hour, which I'm pretty sure Lightning Rod has that. So Lightning Rod has tied the record in the sense. And um, Son of Beast opened May 26, 2000, closed June 16, 2009, with a nine year nine years of operation less than a decade with a height of 48 inches you're allowed to ride or foot four foot and of course this is at king's island i stole this off wikipedia okay my thoughts on rmc an rmc hybrid well this is the if you look over to your right that is actually a new teaser cedar fair has um Released. I can't remember if this is from Kings Island or Cedar Point. I believe it's from Cedar Point. Um, but it says, if you've seen the big letters, Nipper 5 is alive. And Kings Cedar Son of Beast had its station was themed to Outpost 5. So, looking at Nipper 5 is still alive, or Nipper 5 is alive, meaning. Outpost 5 is still going on, and the Son of Beast is still out and about. And if they did do a Son of Beast, I would hope, I would hope to see something massive, meaning bigger than Still Vengeance, and with a big height of maybe... I would say they'd go bigger than Diamondback at uh, 230, so maybe go 250 in the sense and give us a 90 degree drop with a bunch of inversions like Still Vengeance has and just make it better than Still Vengeance, in my opinion. Also, another reason why a lot of people are thinking this is coming back, because Kings Island stated also in their teasers they wanted to bring back a past attraction. And what better way to do that than bring back something that was such a failure to the park, like Senna Beast? It'd be cool to get another co King Cobra, I guess. But that was a Togo stand up, and that has no way of being able to come back, I would think. Also, another thing that makes us think it's a hybrid coaster of Stoven or. Son of Beast, because Cedar Fair also, Cedar Point stated, they they were working with from Mason to Sandusky. They were bringing steel and wood, which would refer to a hybrid coaster by RMC. <clears throat> anyway, those are my thoughts on this thing going to Kings Island. I don't know exactly what to expect, but with all the rumors and stuff with Kings Island getting a new coaster and RMC being there and all this stuff about RMC and Kings Island I think it's probably pretty high now with all the teasers that Cedar Fair has been giving with Cedar Point and Kings Island teaming up which are, which is pretty cool to see both Ohio parks team up with each other but anyway hit that subscribe button and make sure to put on that bell and I'll see you out in the queues